Dad, what game are we playing today? We are playing Ticket to Ride New York. A brand new Ticket to Ride game. Now, a few other things we have reviewed are Ticket to Ride maps and expansions they've done. This is a standalone game in and of itself in New York City. All right. So check it out. Here is New York City. So it's not a, a train game now. It's taxis. Instead of train cars, you got taxis. Look at that. Yep, yeah, you got little taxis. So I've got my white taxis here. You get 15 taxis to start. So as you can see, it's a smaller board. New York City obviously is not as big as the whole U.S. or other maps that have done. But well, it's still the big app. Oh, that's true. We'll go with that. So there's a few other things you'll see on there that we'll explain in a minute. But let's get down to business. All right. So how do you play Ticket to Ride New York? So this plays like most any Ticket to Ride game. Those unfamiliar with Ticket to Ride will show you exactly how it's done. And those that are familiar, you'll see if you notice any differences. What you're trying to do is get the most victory points. And you do that by completing destination tickets, which tell you different areas to connect from. So for example, this one says connect from Times Square down to Soho, going any route you can, and Chelsea down to Brooklyn. So at the start of the game, everybody's going to be given two destination tickets, and they have to keep at least one. Since these are in the same general direction, I'm gonna keep both my destination tickets. The other thing to start with is you're gonna be given two transportation cards, and that's what we have over here, our transportation cards. And those are going to be how you claim different segments. On your turn, you can do one of three things. The first thing you can do is you can take two transportation cards. You can do this by taking one of the face-up cards, which then gets replaced, and then taking another card into your hand. Or you can draw two cards from the deck, or one from the deck and one face-up. If you take a multicolored taxi card that's face-up, that's all you get this turn. You don't get to draw two. So that's going to add cards to your hand, which then you'll use to claim routes, which is a second action you can do. But on your turn, you're only going to get to do one of three actions. The first was to draw the transportations, transportation cards. The next is to claim a route. The way you would do that on a subsequent turn is I can discard two of any color that matches something on the map. So now I can connect East Village to Greenwich Village, for example. You can use the multicolored taxi cards to add to it. If I didn't have another one and I really wanted blue, I could discard two cards to claim a blue route like that. So that's the second thing you can do. The third thing you can do on your turn is to draw more destination tickets. And for that, you'll draw two destination tickets, and then you'll have to keep at least one of those. You can keep both if you want, but you have to keep at least one, then put the other below the deck. So those are the three things you can do on a turn. So Turns go pretty quickly because you're either drawing cards, claiming a route, or getting destination tickets, and it's on to the next player. So it goes pretty quickly. Also, as you'll notice, you've only got 15 taxi cabs here. So once those are placed, it goes, the game goes pretty quickly. The game ends when someone is down to their last two taxi cabs. Once you're down to the last two taxi cabs, everybody gets one final turn to make their push for what they're after, and then you score it up. This game also comes with a nice score pad, which you'll see here. So you've got your names here. So here is where you will score how much you got for the route you claimed. Down here at the bottom of the board, it shows you. If you did a one distance route, it's one point, two distance is, so for example, this here, that's two points for my taxi cabs. But if you get a three route, it's four points, and a four route, it's seven points, because that's all there are. The longest one is a four route here. So if you claim those, then you're gonna get seven points on that. For that route, you'd get seven points. You'd get seven points. So you add up all of those, and you put that here. Then for your destination tickets, so if I completed both of these, if I'd made a route, a connected, continuous connected route from Chelsea to Brooklyn, I'd get eight points, and from Times Square to Soho, I'd get six points. If I did not complete this, I'm going to get minus eight points. Ooh. So you're gonna add up and subtract all of those from your destination tickets, and then any tourist attraction you've connected into. So for example here, I would get one additional point for that. Even if I connected a second round into it, I would not get that twice. 
So only score once for each yep. tourist attraction you're attached to. Yep, and that's the basics of how to play. You total up your score and the person with the most points wins. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. It's very straightforward. It's as straightforward as it gets. So what would you rate Ticket to Ride New York? I rate Ticket to Ride New York a four. And why is that? I like it because it's the simple Ticket to Ride mechanisms and it plays really nice and easy. Uh, the catch, why it's a lower score than our other Ticket to Ride games is for our taste, it's a little too short. But for those with younger kids it, or those getting introduced to Ticket to Ride, it may be just the right length. You'll also notice, based off of the size of the box, it's very portable. So I'll show you a quick little comparison. So for example, here's the size of your Ticket to Ride New York box. Here is your typical Ticket to Ride box. Likewise, the board, you compare your little New York City board to Board of Europe or something. Exactly. Your typical Ticket to Ride board. You cannot play on this table. <laughs> you have to get a bigger table. The taxes so, aren't enough to get around here. Exactly. Either. So there's a lot more going on in your regular Ticket to Ride games than this, but it's a nice bite-sized chunk. It's a lighter if you, if you like your Ticket to Ride for a little bit of a filler. The other thing we've noticed in this game, because of the difference in the amount of trains, so for example, in Ticket to Ride, you get 45 trains to your 15 here. Right there, you could say you're cutting a third. The game goes much faster. A lot of us in Ticket to Ride really like to collect a bunch of cards and then claim a bunch of routes so no one knows what destinations you're trying to claim. In this, because you've got less, less taxis to go through, the claiming a route, once it starts, it goes pretty fast and furious, and people are trying to grab the routes before they get connected, because just like New York City, it can get very congested very fast, and your destination can be cut off quickly. So we don't see a lot of digging and storing up a lot of transportation cards. It's you get a few, and you just start building, and before you know it, the game is over, and you're wrapped up, and you score your points. So it definitely plays very quickly, that's for sure. All right. And for those watching, we have a special reward because we don't just have our copy of Ticket to Ride New York. We've got a giveaway copy that may be shining because this is still in shrink, new in shrink. So we are giving away a copy of Ticket to Ride New York. Thank you very much, Days of Wonder and Asmo Day. So we are going to give this away to a lucky winner from a drawing. The details will be on our website, so if you go to theboardgamefamily.com, you'll get the details and ways to enter. You can do it by subscribing to our YouTube channel, to Facebook, to Twitter, leaving comments on our website, subscribing to uh, updates from our website, things like that. So head on over to the website. You've got until July 21st to be entered to win a copy of Ticket to Ride New York. Excellent. Thanks, Dad. Yep.